Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So, obviously there's quite a big show um, going on right now, which is due to be one of the biggest things that's come out on Netflix apparently. Um, Squid Game. Obviously, if you haven't heard of Squid Game, you've been quite literally living under a rock. It was definitely interesting to say the least, and it was also refreshing to see um, so many people watching something with subtitles, because I know a lot of people don't watch subtitled programs or films just because they don't want to watch subtitles which I find really weird because you end up missing out on a lot of like cool things. To start off with I'm going to start with a negative. I wasn't the most amazed by the ending. Obviously it, like the final episode I didn't see much point to it. I felt like they could have just left it um, or given the main character something to do, maybe do something good, um, give him more indication to what the next season's gonna be, but I just feel like the ending wasn't needed and it definitely takes away um, the significance of the other plot points that happened in like the previous episode, in the previous few. It was just, there was no need for it. As, mm, I thought it was clever, but it just, it didn't need to be then. I feel like they could have done so much more with the time that they had left of the show. They definitely set up the character backgrounds perfectly. Obviously, we saw we saw that they like, mispronounced any of the names. I'm really sorry. Uh, I've been trying my best to um, learn the names, but um, say book the the tall girl that everyone's like, obsessing over. Um, obviously she has a brother and a dad died and just trying to get a mum over um, to be with them and then obviously the main character Sung Joy <laughs> Sung Ji Hun Sung, Sung, Sung Ji Hun um, he has a daughter and that's uh, basically is the reasons why they wanted to go in the game I thought they were clever um, reasons as to why and yeah, I just felt they were definitely meaningful rather than everyone else just being poor. They were doing it for better reasons. But the thing is with Song ji the main guy, he's portrayed, like, put out to be, like, the really nice guy. Obviously, and he's, like, picture, he's all smiley and he's gonna be, like, friendly, but he's not a good guy. Um, he's a terrible father. Absolutely terrible. He stole from his mother. He left his mother when he knew she was ill. Obviously, he went to go get the money for it, but no. Um, and he just messed over a few people in the game as well. And he just completely disregarded his child, which he did the whole thing for. Like, I feel like everyone was waiting for him to go. Like, obviously, he was going to go and play and see his kid, but that was quite a while after the game. And, you know. And then he doesn't even get on the plane, so I'm just like, just go and see your child. <laughs> like, she's in America now, bro. And I feel like this is definitely a recurring thing, but the VIPs were the weakest thing of the whole show. They were not needed, the acting was terrible, they were scripted pretty badly as well. And I guess. They're American because Americans seen as like powerful rich people or something, I don't know. But I feel like they were not needed. There was no significance to that. I would say thing from the director that the red hair signifies the change in him and the and the anger. But I also like how open it is to interpretation. Obviously we didn't know that there's been so many different interpretations of what the red hair can mean. I didn't feel like it was quite random as well, but um, obviously red means anger, angry, whatever. I just feel like they could have shown a reason as to why in the show a little bit because I feel like it was quite a random thing for him to go do. It just showed him going in the barbers and having the red hair and then there wasn't, it didn't really show a reason for it. I thought that the money representing the deaths thing was powerful. Obviously every time someone died more money dropped into the like, piggy bank. I feel like that was quite clever because then all that money signifies all the death um, and all the pain that it was worth to be able to get the money. 
and it'll obviously leave the character who wins with all the guilt and it's just the whole messed up kind of situation but it's like if you're that desperate then you're gonna have to live with the guilt for the rest of your life knowing how many people died in order for you to get that money um which obviously we do see some impacts of that towards the end of the show and I feel like I'm not the only one that picked up on this but the connection between the two young girls that was more than just friendly um I feel like there could have been something there um it was quite sad um about how the just that whole episode it, oh it really messes up I like cried twice and I'll never cry but the way they set that death up just messed me up like that girl was it not the best person um to when we first met her but then she let the girl go so she can be with her brother and oh man that death messed me up i did see that another season might be coming and it might be based off of the old man's younger self and his story but I feel like just, that's not needed I feel like Squid Game should be a limited series we don't need to see another one we don't need to see any more of the story because people are watching for how engaging it is and for the games and all of that and obviously if it's going to be another season it's not going to be about the games and I just feel like it's not needed it, oh, it would just be so much better as a limited series leaving it open ended um, because it's not one of them frustrating endings, it's more just like, you can kind of guess what the main character is going to do and just leave it open to interpretation, but I feel like, yeah, it should be just a limited series. Okay, so despite the flaws in the plot line, like how the policeman managed to survive all the way through until the very end, even though she should die like three times, and how the ending, there was just no need for it and it just ruined the previous plot points, I would give this show an 8 out of 10 due to how like clever and intricate the show is and you can tell there's just so much work went into it it's just clever how like the games and the characters and you think someone's gonna be a villain but it's actually someone else and then the leaders are the actual villains and all this kind of stuff it's it's definitely more of a complex plot line which you know it's nice to say sometimes but um but yeah my only wish is that Song Jiyeon didn't win because he did not deserve it we all know exactly who deserved it and yeah but it was obvious that he was always gonna win and they couldn't really get around that um but yeah and that I thought the show was great it was intricate intricate clever had some different turns that you weren't going to expect some different plot points you weren't going to expect that were quite random but yeah um so that's my review so let me know your thoughts and feelings down below give it a thumbs up and subscribe because i have some new content coming as well so